up guys? Welcome back. Today we are doing something that's really long overdue on my channel. PYT Beauty has been sending me their products since they came out, since before they even actually launched the eyeshadow palette. They have contacted me, been so unbelievably sweet, and they have always offered me their newest products. And I've talked about them here and there on my channel, but I've never done like a full face. And it's also because they didn't have like a full face worth of products for a long time, which totally fine. But now that they do, I feel like it's like the least I can do because a lot of the clean products that we feature on my channel are really expensive. And this is actually a very affordable clean beauty line. So today we are just going to be going through everything that is on offer from PYT currently. And I'm going to kind of talk you guys through my feelings on each one so that you guys can be more informed consumers if you have been thinking about checking out PYT Beauty. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaki and we focus on clean beauty here. I am going to clean my routine in 2019. <laughs> decided on that hashtag, clean routine 2019. No one uses that hashtag. I thought that that was really interesting. Like I tagged something that on my Instagram yesterday and the hashtag is empty and I was like, it's mine. <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing and also like mindfulness and positivity, self-love, all of that stuff, then definitely think about subscribing before you leave. So I'm going to go ahead and move you guys in and we'll put some makeup on my face. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Um, I'm a little low energy today. This is the first day that I have slept past 6 a.m. in uh, over a week because I basically wake up every single morning and edit my videos. And if you didn't see it on my community tab, I was kind of asking you guys what a happy medium would be for an upload schedule, like whether you want me to stick to an upload schedule and have fewer videos or whether you guys are okay with it just kind of not adhering to a schedule for a little while and just kind of coming out as I can get to them because my new job, I really, really like it. And it is offering me a lot more responsibility and I want to give it my full attention. And honestly, that kind of means that I need to sleep more <laughs> because I have been basically putting in like three hours of work every morning before I go to work and uh, it's burning me out. And so, um, yeah, let me know below what your thoughts are. You know, in a perfect world, this would not have to be a decision that I would need to make, but it is what it is. And it's all positive. It's all me kind of choosing between very good things that make me very happy, but it's still gonna be a little bit different for you guys, like from where you're sitting. So I'm gonna start with uh, my Kiara's foundation because <laughs> affordable, right? Um, no, they just don't have a foundation from PYT Beauty, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one that I love the most. This is gonna be a powder look today because they do have such beautiful cheek products, the powder blush and the powder highlight, probably the ones that I've talked about the most on my channel uh, so far, just kind of intermittently because they really impressed me. And they also have a new concealer, a new lip product, they have a brow product, and also a mascara. So we're gonna be using all of those today and I'll kind of give you guys my thoughts on them. Lately in the mornings, I've been wearing either this or just RMS Uncover Up pretty much every single day, it's so fast. So, let's see. This is their All and Nothing Concealer. It is a concealer with Manuka Honey. So that's pretty cool. And I have it in the shade Light Peach. I will have to check and see how this relates to all the other shades because I don't know if this is the lightest shade, but this is not a highlight level of shade on me. It is pretty close to my natural skin color. So it's going to be better kind of used here. I don't use this underneath my eyes because it's got some tug to it. And so unless I wanted to like really warm it up with my finger, and then kind of tap it underneath my eye. I don't really want to like put this little crayon like right underneath my eye because it does really tug on that really tender skin under there. But as a like regular face concealer, it's really beautiful. It has a lot more coverage than a lot of the concealers that I've used that are kind of in the clean beauty category. I would say that it is for your girls who do really want a real concealer feel, even if you are kind of cleaning your routine. Because a lot of them are really lightweight, you know, they're sort of see-through. RMS, like the Uncover Up and stuff like that, they're the Glossier, very see-through. This concealer does wear really nicely. I have worn it kind of, you know, a full day at a time, but definitely requires just a little bit of work to get it into the skin. Probably would be better if I were to kind of like smooth it out with my fingers but I'm just not really a fingers girl. <laughs> I mean, with RMS I am, but 
I don't know. If I'm putting on powder and stuff on top of it, I still like to make sure everything is really, really smoothed into my skin with a sponge. I, I don't know why. I used to even be a brush girl. I, I vacillate, I guess. So you can see how nicely that blends in. And it is, like I said, it's very close to my skin tone. It's, it's not a highlighty shade on my skin. And I am at my like palest right now. I've been using a Thrive Mask every single night, you guys. And I wake up to brighter skin every day. So I have fewer like freckles and dark spots and stuff. It also helps with acne, but I have noticed that like I extra notice my paleness now because I'm just kind of eliminating the darker spots on my face and I just I do I feel like extra extra pale lately. Let me go ahead and throw on some powder. They do not have a powder yet either. Uh, their whole idea is like this no BS and uh, that's what's kind of impressed into all of their powder products is it just says no BS. I'll show you that in a second, but that was the first thing that they came out was the eyeshadow palette. This guy right here. It also is called the, if you can see that, no BS palette. And BS stands for bad stuff. <laughs> but you guys know what it means. Family friendly around here. So I just did uh, some spray and we're just gonna let that set for a second. And uh, we're gonna talk brows. So this is their POV brow pencil. And they don't have like the shade on here. So I will just list it down below because um, I'm not really sure. I think it's probably just an ash brown, but they do name things, sometimes cutesy names and sometimes actual color names. So I'm not really sure what they are in this case. So as you can see, we've got like big fat spoolie on one end and then you've got sort of the, the dash shape instead of like a tiny pencil. I'm okay with this shape. I do prefer a tinier pencil just because I do like to draw in individual hairs. I do like to have a little bit more control, but as brow pencils go, I do like this shade and I do like the formula. The shape just isn't really my favorite. It's a really nice ash brown, actually. So this is good for your brunettes, like light brunettes, but also dark blondes like me. And I do just kind of very, very, very lightly use it in its dash format, I guess, you know, upwards, which kind of defeats the purpose, I think, of there being like a shape to this thing. And I feel like it's just a little too hard to control because I want to just use the tip of it, but it's not, it doesn't really, that's not what the shape is for. In fact, I'm not totally sure what the shape is for. <laughs> eh? I do love the color though. I just wish it was a tinier pencil. And what I'm going to do actually, before I even start doing like my cheek routine or anything like that, is I'm going to take their mascara and go ahead and prime my lashes because I want that primer to dry. I feel like it is pretty close to a tubing mascara, which is my favorite kind of mascara formula. But I do like to let that primer dry for a long time before I put it on. You'll see it in a second. It's like a double-ended thing. So this is the Primed and Ready Mascara in the shade Black. And on one end, you have this primer, which I think is what kind of helps it be kind of like a tubing mascara. Reminds me a lot of the Glossier Lash Slick. Like it's very lengthening and separating, but it doesn't build a ton of volume. I don't think that it really has a lot of like fiber situation going on. So, you know, everybody's got their preference, but it is, I like the brush shape a lot. Like this little kind of ball on the end helps really nicely to kind of get in there. So we will see all of that in a second, but let's go ahead and prime my lashes here. And I really don't care if like eyeshadow gets on top of this primer or anything, that doesn't bother me. And this primer also doubles as a lash, nope, brow gel. If you just want a clear brow gel, they do make a lot of an effort to make their products really multifunctional. Their eyeshadows have a lot of really good shades in them that can be used for like a brow powder or for an eyeliner or things like that. So the eyeshadow palette is really a home run. We're gonna get into that in a second. You guys know my cheek routine now that my like finishing spray is dry. So I'm just gonna kind of fast forward through that real quick because it is not, they don't really have products for that yet. They don't have a bronzer yet. So um, when the time comes, we will do the ads. And if you 
guys have not watched my glowy natural makeup routine video, it came out last week. I'll link it below because if you haven't, you're probably like, Khaki, what the heck? Like, <laughs> I want to know what all those products were. But I do go over it in depth in that video. So the next thing we have here are these two products. This is the Heartbeat Cheek Color in Exhale. It is this really, really beautiful baby pink and it goes on really, really nicely, really smoothly, from, especially for a matte. These formulas are beautiful, and this highlighter is to die for. This is the Upgrade Highlighter in Backstage Pass. They have a lot of shades for all of these things too, so you can really play and have fun. It's not like there's one shade for every skin tone and like that's it. I mean, I think I could probably use almost all of them. So let's start with some blush here. I'm going with my Eco Tools Full Powder Brush, and I am really just, you know, picking up a lot because it is such a nice pale shade that I can kind of go a little heavier. It has a little bit of lavender to it too. And I feel like that gives you a really nice wintry flush, especially because they have all this like bronzer and everything else on. It's just a nice, I don't know, it complements everything really nicely. And if you didn't watch that video already, <laughs> welcome. I put five products on my cheeks every day, so <laughs> welcome. Uh, and then I'm gonna go with the uh, the No BS, the, the Upgrade Highlighter. I always say No BS because it actually has like No BS like impressed on the pan. And so I always just end up accidentally saying that. So I'm gonna go with my little Thrive Highlighter brush here and go high points down onto the cheek, up onto the brow bone. Gives you that just like, whoa glow. Very lived in though. That's why I bring it down onto the top of my cheek. I feel like it makes it look more lived in instead of just that stripe of highlight. Plus your girl's got a lot of real estate right here. <laughs> Let's talk eyes. We are going to be using this beautiful palette. This again was their first palette that they released and they emailed me prior to their launch. I felt so lucky, so grateful that they reached out to me and they were like, we would love to have you as, you know, someone who features our products on your channel because I feel like our messages align so closely. And that was when I was not even focusing exclusively on clean makeup that, you know, someone's already done the legwork for you. This whole brand, someone's already done the legwork for you to make sure that everything is just really kind to your skin. It made a huge difference to me even before I knew that that was going to be something that was like a huge priority. This is the first eyeshadow look that we have done on my channel in a really long time. I got super duper burnt out on eyeshadow palettes for a while. I was just buying tons of eyeshadow palettes and it was starting to make me feel very empty inside. <laughs> and so I haven't done a full look on my eyes in a while. So this should be fun. I'm using my Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer. It's still my fave. I should say still because uh, <laughs> I haven't done an eyeshadow look in so long. Why would anything have changed, right? So they give you this really big pan of neutral here. You have a neutral kind of pinky shimmer. Oh, is it pink? I don't know. It's like, it's just champagne. And then this pale, cream color that also works really nicely to just kind of set everything and also a nice kind of brow bone highlight and whatnot. So we will go in with my old trusty rusty hair. Uh, this is the 203, I believe, from uh, Real Techniques. And I'm gonna go in with that bright shade all over where I just put the primer. And my eyebrow hairs are aggressive and they are growing back in and it's just a thing. It's something that I neglected today. Very, very finely milled, very, very easy, spreadable, gives you like a better finish. I feel like, you know, it's better than skin finish because these do blend so nicely. So you just, I don't know, you end up with like a really nice flat canvas. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade right here, it's a really pretty matte tan and I'm gonna just build the crease really, really gently here. Oh yeah, my framing has changed a little bit because I had to shoot some macros for Thrive. They wanted to see some really close up shots of 
some of their products, like on my eyes, you guys might see that you, if you see some Thrive ads and you're like, those eyes look familiar to me, it's because they're mine. <laughs> and so I did, I shot for them some mascara and some brow and some eyeliner shots. And so, uh, yeah, I had to move all of my filming setup around. And then when I put it back, I was like, I felt like Monica when Chandler cleans her entire apartment and she comes back and she like can't put her feet on the coffee table. I don't know, like everything's just kind of slightly awry and then he freaks out. So yeah, my, my framing has changed because I moved my camera. Do, do, do. And when I say I haven't done an eyeshadow look on my channel, I also mean I haven't done eyeshadow in my life in a really long time. I think that was also one of the things that kind of broke me of the whole eyeshadow thing was that I would get done doing a look on my channel and then I would wash my face because I don't really like how a really big eye look looks on me and so going about my day like after the fact I just felt very very overdone. <sighs> I just had to be honest with myself you know. Okay so I'm taking that pale shade and blending up from the crease up into here. This is a I would say semi low pigment palette formula eyeshadow formula and that is great for people who a, don't <laughs> like a big bold eye look all the time, and B, uh, it's really good for beginners because it's gonna be really forgiving and really blendable. And so I don't say, I don't think that it's as low pigment as like e.l.f., but it's certainly not as high pigment as like uh, even like an Urban Decay or something like that. So all of these shades with these shimmers and stuff, they work really nicely as blending mediums. They don't give you like this wow punch of glitter. It's just a lot like the Thrive palette in the sense that it has so many usable shades in it. It's not giving you like a wow bam. Oh my God, like I have to own that because it's got this crazy bright ass blue in it or something. But cost per use, it's a very low cost per use palette. Timber. I don't think I've used this green on camera yet. Very, very pretty. And it comes off like a brown green. It's really very, very gorgeous. And all of these shades are, they lend themselves well to pretty much any skin tone because they have just kind of pure pigment in them. They don't have like a really, I don't know, annoying opacity behind them. So this does shift kind of a little bit like neutral champagne, which I think is also really pretty. We have a little bit of fallout, but I'm not upset. I don't really care. Gonna take just a little bit more of that on the same fluffy brush and just kind of work that up. My eyeshadow muscle memory is slightly atrophied, let's just say. But you can see, even as I've spread that out with a fluffy brush, you retain a lot of the really beautiful satin finish on it. It doesn't spread out to the point that you lose that. So that's cool. I'm gonna take a smaller brush if I can find one. There we go. Hey, little buddy. This is my defined crease brush from Makeup Geek. It is one of my fave faves. And I'm going to stick it into this kind of purpley shade. Do these have names? No. Oh, well. They probably did. I think there might have been like an overlay on this, but I lost track of it a long time ago. So I'm going to dip into that purple shade and I'm going to use it to kind of build a little more in the crease here. And if you guys are like, oh my God, don't put a shimmer in your crease. <sighs> I don't know, it's not that shimmery. It's just kind of satiny. And oddly, this like purple and this green go beautifully together. And you can see this technique that I'm using, I'm kind of like punching the brush up inside of the underneath of my crease. I don't know, that might not translate if you don't have like the same kind of shape of like eye socket that I do, but I find that, you know, it helps it not get too high and kind of stay where I'm putting it. And then it kind of blends itself because I'm just barely 
just sort of pushing, pushing, pushing up like that in almost little circles, but more like little like that. Eyeshadow looks happen really fast. Like I already feel like I'm just like, whoa, <laughs> made up. So now I'm going to go back into this matte shade that we started with that was like the transition shade and I'm gonna blend up just above where I put the purple. I feel like this brush is kind of dirty now. That went a little haywire. And I'm gonna take this like light-ist-ish shade and even go above that and blendy, blendy, blendy. I don't know if I'm doing like the best job of showing the capabilities of these shadows because I'm so out of practice on doing eyeshadow looks. <laughs> oh well. I don't hate it. So I'm going to take a little baby brush, if I can find one, where is it? I don't know when the last time I used this was. And I'm gonna go underneath with that purple and I'm gonna blend it into that like champagne shade. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. And take that champagne, work it right here. And then I'm gonna take my little same one from, uh, from Makeup Geek and I'm gonna go into the, again, this light shade right here and I'm gonna blend those down so that they end up with a nice gradient instead of like a hard line. I'm gonna go into this bright shade-ish, you know, it's bright-ish, and just kind of touch that here. No, that does not really do the trick. I'm gonna go into my highlighter. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm gonna brighten my inner corner with that guy. Go crazy. Crazy go nuts. Anybody miss Homestar Runner? Me too. Bright, 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 bring me the brightness. Um, do I take that on my lid a little bit? Yeah, I do, with my finger, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, oh, I do love that, mm-hmm, yes. Take it just a little bit above my actual lid so that when my eyes open, you can still see a little bit of the gradient. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> little wash of gold. I like that very much. Um, yes, let's throw on a little bit of brow mousse here. This is the Thry that comes out on Wednesday. We're doing an entire video. I'm going to show you guys how it compares to boy brow because I think that that is the question I'm anticipating the most is how does it compare to your previous favorite before the existence of this? And, uh, you know, I'm an affiliate for both. <laughs> I really don't have, like, a uh, necessarily a dog in the fight. And so uh, I just want to show you guys kind of unbiased the, the nuanced differences. So tune in for that on Wednesday because I guess I'm sticking to a schedule. I don't know. We'll see. Tune into that whenever it happens. <laughs> um, but it does release on Wednesday, so I'm going to shoot to get that up on Wednesday. Oh, I hope I'm not, like, super duper low. En I, I know I'm low energy right now. Understand that it doesn't mean that I'm not having fun. I'm just tired. <laughs> this is still my most favorite part of my week. I'm just tired. We are going to, oh, that's still on my hand. It's so pretty. We are gonna uh, put on, I kind of want to put on some liner. I just, I'm feeling liner right now. Let's, let's see if I can even find one. I don't even know if I own a liner anymore. I have black. I have a black liner. Is that what I want to do? I mean, screw it, right? I feel like Samantha Ravindall today. I just have like, there's no, there's no like sunshine rainbows happening today. Can you please? Thank you. Gonna blend that with a little baby brush. This one is from Sigma and it has crap all over it. I really thought I cleaned all my brushes. I guess that I did not. I'm gonna use this little elf brush that has a spoolie on the other end. Have you guys noticed that I don't use my old trusty MAC powder underneath my eyes anymore? I feel like it looks so much better. It's so weird how you see yourself 
like I see myself in old videos and I'm like that wasn't even a year ago like what was I thinking I don't know my aesthetic has changed a lot mainly I've just dialed everything back um yeah this is having some issues I think this liner is starting to dry out but it's fine just blend her right into my lash line. Wow, remember eyeliner? That makes a big difference. <laughs> I kind of, uh, kind of should get back on speaking terms with eyeliner because she's cute and she does me a lot of favors. <laughs> I really like that. I really like that eye look. It's very moody. It's very like smoky, sultry all of those words. Okay, we already primed my lashes earlier, so we're gonna use the mascara end of the mascara. And like I said, oh my gosh, she pumped her mascara. It's gonna dry out so fast because I'm running out of makeup. Okay, mascara, let's do this. Come on, girlfriend, get on board. I feel like this just does not, once I'm used to the Thrive Mascara, like it doesn't build volume like I want it to. But it's really gentle and lightweight, which I do love. Like it doesn't feel like anything on my lashes. There's definitely something to be said for that if you're a girl who needs all the help you can get. Okay, maintaining curl in your lashes. This is not gonna give you that like weighed down thing. Oh, actually that's really pretty. Hello, yep, it's just different. It's not necessarily one is better than the other because now that I've put on more, like that's it's beautiful and it's a more organic shape. I think that the Thrive gives me these really, really defined kind of like chunky spiky lashes and I love that, but this is so like soft and feathery looking. And if I recall, when you rinse this off, it does, like I said, kind of behave like a tubing mascara in the sense that it, you know, doesn't give you like super duper raccoon eyes when you rinse it off. But I think it all matters like how many coats of that primer that you're willing to put on. And I just don't always have time for that. Okay, I actually love that. I'm not sure that I had really given this mascara the time of day because I am just, you know, so we all get stuck in our ways and I'm so stuck in my ways with the Thrive because the Thrive's so fast, but this is some of like the prettiest shape I've ever seen on my lashes. It's the first time I think I've seen my lashes look like lash extensions. Like it looks fuller instead of just longer or darker or deeper or whatever. Like this looks like I have little fluttery inserts in between my eyelashes, which I'm not really sure how they did that. Really cool though. While those top ones are uh, drying, we're gonna use this. <laughs> this is maybe my favorite thing that they've put out. Well, no, mm, mm, that highlighter, that's a contender. But this shade is called Bare All, and it is the Strike Twice Lip Duo. They are the same shade on both sides. So you have the gloss that is also very highly pigmented and actually not that glossy. It's not a matte lip or anything, but it, it definitely is like super highly pigmented and doesn't have like a really uh, balmy formula. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna crawl all over your face, which is nice. And then the, the lipstick is the same shade. And I'm telling you guys, I, I mean, we talked about this in my, uh, glowy face routine last week, but this is the best frigging color ever. I don't even have like a qualifier for it. It's the best color for so-and-so or whatever. This is the best color. It's very similar to the color of my nails. It is the perfect neutral dusty rose mauve pink color. So today I'm going to use the creamy side because I used the, the gloss the other day. So I shouldn't roll it all the way out. I'm gonna knock the whole thing off. And then I'm gonna take and put a gloss over the, the top of that. I don't know if I've actually done that yet where I use the pigment and then the gloss on top. Let's do it. Oh, 
but that's very pretty. It's, it's a lot of look. It's way more look than I usually do because of the eyes and the lips. So like alone, I love this lip with just like a regular no eyeshadow look. And then I love the eyes on their own. That said, mm, I know I just harped about how much I love that lip, but my personal aesthetic is that I'm not gonna go like eye and lip at the same time. It's just not gonna happen. So gonna throw on some regular old Gloss. Why do I have stuff stuck to my face all the time? Fenty Gloss Balm because I like a regular glossy lip. So as much as eyeshadow isn't really my look anymore, it's just not what I go for on a regular basis, I love this eyeshadow palette. It is such a user-friendly creamy formula and a really user-friendly set of shades that blend so beautifully together. Like the fact that you can just pop the green right next to the purple and the way that the colors blend on the skin is just very easy to make it look right. It's not It's not gonna make you look like a fool. Um, I, I think that like, as these things go, this is just a very easy eyeshadow palette. So they do have a 20% off of your first order when you just are new on their website. I think they also sell them all over the place since they are a clean beauty brand that is very affordable. They sell them like a lot of like Credo I think has them, maybe Detox Market, I'm not sure. I get Credo, Falling, and Detox Market all confused all the time. I'm always like, oh, one of them does samples. I don't know, it's Detox Market. But regardless, uh, I know they're sold on one of those and then Ulta also sells them online. So um, they're doing a sale right now, friends and family. I didn't know that, so that's cool. Okay, so uh, the concealer. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that. <laughs> so everything they do is kind of dual ended. I always kind of forget that. So this is the concealer and it actually has a little brush on the end. So if I were to like, you know, put that on my skin, I could then take the little brush and smooth it out. Do I think that that is necessary or useful in my life? No, but uh, you know, it's, it's a nice to have, I guess, um, if you are kind of putting this on on the go because it is a stiffer formula. And so it's not necessary. like you do kind of have to tug to get it to spread out. So it's nice that it has a little brush on it, but I don't really anticipate myself putting it on on the go. That is $18, not bad at all. And you can get three for what? Excuse me, three for one? Concealer by three for one. So you could get three shades for $18 right now. Am I reading that right? That's crazy, PYT, that's awesome. That's $6 for a concealer, so uh, y'all go nuts. They have eight, nine, 10, 11 shades, and they all vary in undertone and also depth. So the deepest, I believe, is this shade right here, and it is just called Dark Warm Undertones. And it's pretty deep. If you're gonna be using that as a, as a concealer, uh, that will work for a good bit of deep skin tones. I'm not sure it works for everybody, but they made an effort. It has uh, shea butter, olive oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E in that concealer. So <laughs> that's pretty neat, especially if you get them for $6 a piece. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I thought that the eyeshadow palette was $30. No, no, the eyeshadow palette and the mascara together as a bundle is $30 right now. So that's amazing. Alone, the eyeshadow palette is $28. So for $30, you can get the mascara with it. Go do that. That makes sense. And the mascara alone is $20. So <laughs> get, get, get your bundle. Ooh, they have little travel sizes too, cute. So the highlighter is $22 and the highlighter with the lipstick and the mascara is $35. So again, get your bundles. And uh, the cheek color is also $22. The Strike Twice Lip Duo is $18, which was the one that I showed you. So that's literally $9 per product, which is great. And you can get the full set of all of them for $50, like all five shades for $50. So $10 a piece, $5 a lip product. That's like, you're in, you're in uh, ColourPop territory at that point. They also have uh, Shea Butter and Vitamin E. So it says wear them alone or combine them for a statement baking lip that's got as much pigment as you've got options. And they have beautiful shades. Um, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's like, 
mainly, you know, two kind of nudes. There's like a, a nude like the one that I'm wearing, and then there's an even nuder nude. And, uh, and then there's like a really pretty kind of like rusty red, and then you get into like a, a very easy to wear mauve color, and then this really awesome brown. I just think that they've made a lot of really smart choices. They remind me a lot of Thrive in the sense that they are making makeup for people to wear on an everyday basis. They're not necessarily trying to sell you a brand new aesthetic. They're saying this is your new routine because these are such functional products and functional colors, but that you know you can move into a clean routine without breaking the bank on QR wise, you know? Um, that's just an example. I highly recommend breaking the bank on QR wise, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but you don't have to. They don't have like a lot of the kind of products that I kind of gravitate towards that I think of as clean beauty. So, you know, the like the two-in-one cheek products and things like that. Although I've used that lip product as a cheek product and it works beautifully. And I've also used this concealer without powdering it and it works beautifully but this is very much trying to bridge, I feel like, from an aesthetic standpoint, the routine that you're already doing, probably. You know, it's we're not trying to create a new makeup. <laughs> we're not pulling a Fenty here and being like, did you know that you needed wet look highlighter on your face? Because you do, and I bought it, so obviously. But all of these items are just slightly new takes on things that you already use and it's a very easy way to move into a clean routine for very little money and they're having a wackadoo sale right now that I didn't know about. This is not a sponsored video or anything. They asked me to do uh, an Instagram takeover not that long ago and I filmed it and I hated it because I just don't like that format. It turned out really bad. My phone just wasn't cooperating. I just... You get used to the format that you film on and I'm just not really cut out for Instagram filming and it, I just didn't like how it turned out. So I felt like I could, the least I could do was give you guys a good look at how all these products perform on a video in a format that I'm more comfortable with. Also, you know, it, it's worth mentioning again that they send me these products. This is one of the only PR PR lists that I'm on and I'm really proud and grateful to be part of their kind of growing family because these products are so well thought out. And honestly, like even the ones that I didn't necessarily think that I loved, like this mascara, um, I kind of love this mascara. <laughs> and you guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know <laughs> that uh, me trying a new mascara and liking it is just not a thing that happens. Even in my 2018 roundup of everything that I love, I was like, we'll make mascara quick. The only thing I like is Thrive. And so the fact that this is pretty and pretty for a different reason than the Thrive, uh, I will continue actually using it and it will become part of my routine. But you can see the pigmentation on these eyeshadows and the way that they like don't crease or anything, it's so smooth, it's so pretty. And the what this really comes down to is that someone has taken the time to really put the thought and energy into making makeup that's really gentle, good for your skin, made with great ingredients, but it's not like beauty counter prices. So hopefully you enjoyed me sharing this look with you today. And uh, let me know if you have any more questions about any of the PYT products. I wanna try some more of the shades, especially in the blush, because I, I just love the formula so much. So, um, and also the lips. I, and just knowing that the prices are so good, like I don't mind shelling out the cash. They don't have to send me everything, you know, for free. So guys, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you check out their links down below and everything. Again, they sell them at Ulta. They sell them online and everything like that. But their actual PYT website is where all these discounts are living right now. And uh, if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, guys, uh, hit the button down below and subscribe. Would love it if you did. Thank you so much for watching. I really love you guys. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.